Hello, my name is Michael Lamb. I'm a research statistician developer at SAS, and I'd like to introduce you to a new procedure for analyzing longitudinal data called PROC GEE. You might be using the GenMod procedure to analyze longitudinal data. In this video, I'll compare the GEE and GenMod procedures and show you the new tools PROC GEE gives you for analyzing longitudinal data with dropouts. The GEE procedure was introduced in SAS STAT 13.2 to provide a new comprehensive tool for analyzing longitudinal data. The GEE procedure compares most closely to PROC GenMod. Both procedures support the standard approach of analyzing longitudinal data by using generalized estimating equations, often called GEEs. The standard approach is based on complete cases. If you have missing data, the standard approach can give you biased results. When your data include dropouts, you can use weighted GEE methods to eliminate bias. The weighted methods are supported in PROC GEE, but not in PROC GenMod. To illustrate the GEE procedure and show how it compares to PROC GenMod, we'll analyze the following simulated data with both procedures. In this example, subjects were observed once a month for four months. The variable ID identifies the subjects, and the variable time indicates in which month the observation was taken. For observations after the first month, the previous response is recorded in the variable PREVY. As is typical of data from clinical trials, there are a number of missing observations due to dropouts. In this example, only 28% of the subjects have complete cases. To fit a standard GEE using PROC GenMod, you specify a response model and a working correlation structure. The parameters beta and the response model are estimated by solving generalized estimating equations. The working covariance matrix, VI, depends on the working correlation structure that you specify using the type equals option in the repeated statement. Here, the within equals time option indicates that a subject's responses are ordered by time. You can fit this same model in PROC GEE by specifying the identical model and repeated statements. Because the data include dropouts, you must assume an appropriate missing data mechanism in order for the standard GEE model to provide valid inference. The missing data mechanism describes why a response is missing and is crucial for correct analysis. The standard GEE method provides generally valid inference only when the mechanism is missing completely at random. A missing completely at random assumption means that the missingness is independent of the observed and unobserved responses conditional on the covariates. Missing completely at random is a strong assumption and is unlikely to hold in many clinical trials. Weighted GEEs provide valid inference when the more realistic missing at random mechanism is assumed. A missing at random assumption means that the missingness is independent of the current and future responses conditional on observed past responses and covariates. A weighted GEE requires that you specify a missingness model in addition to the response model and working correlation structure. A logistic model is used and in accordance with the missing at random assumption, observed past responses should be included in the model. The conditional probabilities are incorporated into a weighted GEE through the computation of inverse probability weights. By using inverse probability weights, the weighted GEE can eliminate bias and provide valid inference even if the working correlation structure is misspecified. You request a weighted GEE by specifying a missingness model in the miss model statement. Note that no response is specified in the miss model statement since its value is implied by the data. The parameters beta are estimated by solving generalized estimating equations that include a weight matrix W. The elements of W are derived from the missingness model. PROC GEE provides tables of parameter estimates for both the missingness and response models. Note that the variable PREVY is significant. The significance of PREVY indicates that the missing completely at random assumption is not appropriate for these data. In this example, the model gives you estimates for the treatment effect at each time period. Because the data are simulated, 
you can plot the estimates from the standard and weighted GEEs against the true values. In this figure, the estimates obtained from the weighted GEE are shown in green, the estimates from the standard GEE are shown in red, and the true values are shown in blue. Note the bias in the parameter estimates from the standard GEE. The weighted GEE provides unbiased estimates close to the true values. To summarize, the GEE procedure provides new tools for analyzing longitudinal data. The GEE procedure can fit all of the standard GEE regression models available in ProcGenMod. The GEE procedure also supports weighted methods for when the data includes dropouts. The syntax for requesting the standard and weighted methods is very similar. The weighted methods require the additional specification of a missingness model. In SASTAT 14.1, released in July 2015, the GEE procedure also supports alternating logistic regression methods for data with binary or ordinal multinomial responses. Furthermore, the procedure supports generalized logit models for data with nominal multinomial responses. To learn more about the GEE procedure and the weighted GEE method, refer to the 2014 SAS Global Forum paper, Weighted Methods for Analyzing Missing Data with the GEE Procedure. This paper and further information about the GEE procedure can be found online at support.sas.com/statistics.